Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Margaret and welcome to Purple Frog. Today I'm going to be taking you guys with me and showing you guys around and taking you guys to some of the best anime and manga stores in Tokyo, Japan, so let's go! The first store is Animate in Shibuya, Tokyo. Before entering the store, you will see a whole bunch of cutouts and promotional posters for pop-ups and whatnot that are currently happening. After entering the store, you will see a giant floor-to-ceiling display full of new releases for magazines, manga, art books, and so much more. Animate sells currently serializing or publishing series and more popular series of merchandise, so you will not really find a lot of older series or kind of secondhand. They also tend to sell things at retail price, but sometimes they will have a sale, so if a series that you like is popular, then most likely there will be some merchandise or the manga here. For example, Blue Lock. Blue Lock is a really popular series, so there is a whole bunch of manga and anime merchandise. They have acrylic stands, blind boxes, plushies, figures, you name it, they have it. So of course I grabbed some of the Bachira acrylic merch since I love his character. They also had some really cool just various Shonen Jump merchandise, which I don't really see a lot, which is really fun to see. They had some Dr. Stone, some Oshinoko, and some very really cool kind of currently serializing but not as popular series as well they also had a decent amount of chainsaw man chainsaw man is pretty popular so a lot of it was more on the picked over side they did have a nice like little end cap for banana fish which is really cool since you don't really see a lot of that they even had some really cute uh natsume's book of friends items which was so cute they even have a section dedicated to mxtx or specifically mdcs and near the checkout, they even had some really cute blind boxes, so of course I grabbed a few. Here's another miscellaneous area just full of random shonen like Mashal, Bleach, Death Note, and Kingdama. So really just a wide variety of mix-matched series. They even had some Hunter x Hunter. And look at this, this is such a cute- this is like a glittery Kurokono basket card, which is really cool. They even had a nice selection of Haikyuu and a lot of Haikyuu plushies. Of course, they had the Tokyo Avengers, specifically this is like a pop-up shop they had going on, but here's the regular Tokyo Avengers section, which is really cool. A lot, a lot of blind bags. This chain anime contains or sells a lot of blind bags. If that is what you're into, this they I recommend this store. They have the biggest variety, I would say, um, of purely just blind bag items. So these mini chainsaw and acrylic stands really caught my eye. I thought the power one was so cute, but she was so expensive since she was retail price. I did check up some of their other kind of more unique uh, Shonen Jump serializing blind boxes and whatnot, which is really cool. I was really happy to see it. They did have some Dr. Stone. Sadly, that was a really small selection. But next to the checkout, they had a little cafe. Here's the design I got. The next stop is Surigaya in Akihabara. This is right next to Radio Kaikan, down the street from that, and they have a lot of secondhand anime goods, but they also have some newer items. For Surigaya, I would say that it's kind of a hit or a miss in terms of prices. It's either they're a great deal or they're overpriced. So I'm in the blind bag section, as you guys can tell. There's a lot of Blue Lock and Chainsaw Man because it is a more popular series, so you're more likely to see those series out and just the stores and whatnot. I found some really cute blind bags, so of course I had to grab them. I even found this really cute uh, like Isagi souvenir keychain. I had to grab that. I wish they had the matching Bachira one, but sadly they did not. Here's an example of kind of the secondhand portion coming into play. They just had a whole bunch of bins full of miscellaneous anime goods. So here is miscellaneous goods. I don't know what series these are, but they're like paper goods, like shikishi boards and coasters from cafes and whatnot. And they were all decent prices, I would say. I don't really know what they're worth since I don't know the series, but I thought they were pretty good. Here's an example, as you guys can tell, they really just have random bins. This location is not the biggest one. This is on the smaller side, but it's kind of everything is all mixed up. On the floor above, they have, I believe, J-pop stuff. And on the floor below, they have like trading cards and game consoles. But I just stayed on the main floor, which is dedicated to anime goods and other figures and whatnot. Here is their giant spy family section. Once again, another popular series, so you can expect to see that at most stores you go to. Um, their new and used section was not the best in terms of sorting, but you know, I may do. It was cute, whatever. 
Here is some more random blind bags. They had a lot of miscellaneous uh, blind bags for their newer items. And then for their secondhand items, they tended to be can kind of canned badges, uh, blind bag, not blind bags, but acrylic stands and other kind of cute plushies like the Hell's Paradise ones you see right here. I even saw like these cute can badges, I think they were. They looked really adorable. Here is this really cute pom pom pudding plushie, but as you guys can tell, it was quite expensive. So you really have to look in stores like this because they can either be really good deals or they can be kind of overpriced. So you really just have to keep an eye out and kind of know generally the prices of things and what you're looking for because you can really find some great deals in stores like this. Here are some really cute acrylic stands. This like little Draken one was so cute. And then they had the matching Nizia one, which is adorable. Not the best organization, at least on this side of things. It's really just a random assortment of goods and series. So you really have to dig through things in order to, you know, there may be a hidden treasure to be found. So if you want to find the good stuff, you really have to dig. This Hanma acrylic stand caught my eye. It is so cute. And I love Hanma, so of course I had to grab that. It was a little bit expensive, but you know, whatever. Here is more keychains and whatnot. A lot of Coco and a lot of Inupi. This store though, since it is secondhand, they do have kind of more specialty items like Haikyuu eggs, question mark. 3,000 yen for Haikyuu eggs. I don't know if they're actually like plushies or what they are, but I thought that was really funny. They had these really giant Tokyo Revenger remit blind boxes, which I thought were cool. And here's another basket of just random items that I found. A lot of plushies, and then here's some more. There are just so many baskets full of so many random goods, even at a smaller location like this. Sometimes I would get a bin and it would just be like live action merchandise. So, you know, it's kind of a hit or a miss. I found this giant bin full of Tokyo Revengers. So I was really excited when I found a Hanma pin. They had a whole bunch of pins like Mikey and Mitsuya. And these were really kind of on the larger side, if you guys can tell. These are like really large buttons. This is a mini acrylic stand blind bag, I believe is what that says. And yeah. I even found a few really cute keychains looking towards the bottom of this. They were mainly though characters like Takamichi since he's not really that popular of a character. My favorite character is Mikey and also Hanma and uh, Hanma they don't really have as much of his stuff out and Mikey's really popular or really expensive so overall a really fun store. The next store I'll be taking you guys to is Ami Ami in Akihabara, Tokyo. This is right across the street from Suragaya, the previous location, and uh, it is currently located inside of the Radio Kaikan complex. And so there, that means that there are a whole bunch of other great anime stores in this location, like K Books and whatnot. But today I'm going to be taking you guys to Ami Ami, which is known for their new and used items more so new. Online though, they have a really nice pre-owned section, but I believe the stores specialize in just new items. And once again, it's kind of similar to Animate, where it's mainly just popular series, though they do have a wider variety of acrylic stands and figures as compared to the previous stores we went to. Once again, a pretty big blue lock section since it is a really popular series. A lot of acrylic stands, buttons, blind bags, plushies, pins, I mean, you name it, they, there was just so much. They even had quite the selection of Naruto merchandise, which I thought was really cool because for such a popular series, you never really see much merchandise of it, but they had a pretty good selection here. They even had some Boruto stuff, which I thought was really cute. They also had some Dragon Ball items and just some classic items as well, like Bleach, and they also had some like Chainsaw Man and One Piece, which is cool. This location also has a wide variety of MXTX merchandise and surprisingly a really nice selection of TGCF, which you don't see that often in person at least. I really liked all the acrylic stands, plushies, buttons and whatnot that they had here. They had a nice variety and they were all pretty good pricing. They also had this like little aisle section dedicated to works done by Clamp, which I thought was really nice that they had a like little section dedicated to that. And across the aisle, they had a like little spy family section with a lot of blind bags and capsules and just a whole bunch of different items from spy family, but not as many acrylic stands and whatnot, just mainly blind bags. And once again, more blue lock. 
Can you guys guess a reoccurring theme? There is a lot of Blue Lock merchandise everywhere. Blue Lock is everywhere. I did find this really cute Mikey acrylic stand though. As you guys can tell, my basket is already so full. The store is very addicting and they have great prices sometimes. While the prices do tend to be retail, they tend to have a lot of sales on items. So you can find items for like 50% off if you're lucky. Here's some of their really cute releasing Nendroids like uh, Fruits Basket and Given. They also had some really cool like Fushi Yugi stuff and like this like little Tomoe doll. And of course I went back and had to grab some of these Spy Family Gachapon capsules which are 250 yen. They had quite the selection of Haikyuu figures. Okay everyone, so the last stop on today's agenda is K-Books in Ikebukuro, Tokyo. Okay everyone, make sure you go down the stairs in order to find the anime K-Books. There are quite a few K-Books in the area. There are ones for Otomen games and also J-Pop. So make sure you go down the stairs. There'll be like an arrow and stuff. A lot of people, including myself, also may make this mistake and tend to get lost, but it is down below. They have quite the selection of BL merchandise. Once again, a lot of MXTX merchandise. They even had some Scun Villain self-saving system, which is really surprising since that is kind of, I will say, the least popular series of like the big three ones that are known. Uh, they even had some really cool A Sign of Affection merchandise and quite the selection of Requiem of the Rose King, which made me happy since I really do love the series. Sadly though, there were none of like the main characters because, you know, they tend to sell out really quickly of those. K-Books, I forgot to mention, is a secondhand store, so you will be finding a lot of kind of older or more niche merchandises. And the pricing can range since they are secondhand. They can be from cheaper or you can find some really expensive and like a little bit more overpriced items. So it really just depends on how hard you look. But sometimes you can find the same thing just priced cheaper in the stores even. So, you know, you just gotta keep looking. Of course, I found their Yakuza Fiancé section, and you guys know how much I love that series, so I grabbed basically everything that they had on the shelves. I grabbed the Yoshino Ken badges, I grabbed this foil Ken badge, I grabbed, of course, these two, like, uh, Kirishima Ken badges, which are so cute. Basically, anything I did not have, I, I did indeed grab, because I'm weak for Yakuza Fiancé, you know? I feel like that's just a well-known fact. So I grabbed these two mini acrylic stands, which looked adorable, and this Shoma keychain, I did end up grabbing that. It was a little bit more expensive, but it was so cute. How could I not end up grabbing it? It was just so cute. I even found this Shoma card holder, and I mean, like, look at this giant acrylic stand. I ended up swapping it for the smaller acrylic stand here. Let me get up to show you guys. This one here, it's the same exact artwork as on the um, bigger one. So... The bigger one's a little bit more expensive, but it's just so much bigger, so I decided to grab that one, so I did not need the smaller one. And yeah, a lot of this stuff I did not actually get because I actually have, like, all of it, so yeah. Okay guys, I just got back from going to all of those amazing, amazing anime stores. I picked up so much stuff, so let's just get into the haul because there's so much to cover. Okay, let's start by doing animate. This is going to be the majority of stuff. I did take out a couple of blind bag things because I'm saving them for a later video, but let's just get into what I got. Starting off here, we have this gachapon that I picked up. Uh, they had a like little gachapon space inside of the store and these are like Mob Psycho 100 uh, gachapons of like them sleeping. I have the rubber strap version of Kogiyama. I wanted the Ken badge of him or Dimple or Reagan, and I ended up getting Reagan. Oh my god, look how cute he is. But I had no idea it came with this. This is so, so cool. These are a Ken badge cover that has the character's name on it with like the little stars around it. Let's try it on, see how it looks. I've never tried one of these, so I'm excited to see how it looks. Oh my god, look how cute that is. That is adorable. Oh my goodness, I love these so much. This is so cute. Okay, so I got the Reagan Cam badge and the Gachapon. I got this uh, Bachida acrylic stand because I love Bachida. You guys know how much I love him. So this is an acrylic stand I've been wanting for a while. So I was so excited when I saw it there. They gave me this random leaflet of a series. I do not know which series this is from, but the art looks pretty. So starting off, I got this really cute uh, MDZS Cam badge. It's like a Lunar Near Year of the rabbit i think this is meant to be like he has the rabbit keychain but he's wearing it looks like a tiger hat i don't know it's confusing but look how beautiful this is i also picked up these two um blue lock 
like onsen themed uh blind boxes i'm going to be opening them up in a later video for you guys and then in the manga section i managed to navigate this volume of manga which is one of the volumes that i really wanted to get i was looking at this here in the states in a previous manga shopping video and i ultimately did not get it because it's like 20 dollars here but there i got it for around nine us dollars or 1100 yen so this is really cute let's get this open because i want to see what the art looks like love the green accents that's so fun okay now moving on to surigaya surigaya is a great discount anime store where they just sell new and used items uh for anime merchandise and figures uh upstairs i believe they have like j-pop stuff and below they have like uh video game consoles and cards and stuff but i just stayed on the main floor which was for anime uh, so let's get into the haul. Starting off, the biggest thing I got there, this is a little bit of a slight impulse purchase, but it was a figure I've been wanting for quite a while. And I saw him there and he was for an okay price, so I just decided to grab him, and that is the Senku Nendroid. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about this. You guys know how much I love Dr. Stone. This was a little bit expensive, it was 8,100 yen. Okay, that really hurt, but I did get tax free, okay? And I've been wanting him for a while. I love Dr. Stone and he'll look great on my Dr. Stone shelf. Moving on to some merchandise I got. I got this really cute blue lock Isagi keychain. I love it so much. It's adorable. I also got this Hanma acrylic stand, a blue lock acrylic stand blind bag, and this really cool Chainsaw Man acrylic, not acrylic, can badge blind bag. Okay, next I picked up this Spy Family rubber strap blind bag. Oh my goodness a uh, can badge of Hanma since he is one of my favorite from Tokyo Adventures. I got this uh, Chainsaw Man blind bag, which I opened. Oh, I got power. Oh my God, this is so cute. I love this line so much. I set that there. And then here's another one that I got and I got Denji. How cute is he? So cute. And then I also got a rubber strap where I got Himena. My goodness. Look how cute she is. Himeno. I would call her Himena, not Himeno. Oh my goodness, but look how cute. I don't know why these are so ugly, but for some reason, they're such a cute ugly to me. So I'm excited about that. And the last couple of items that I got from that second store, Surigaya, was a bado, like little, not little, I mean, it's a can badge. It's a bado. I love him. Uh, and then I also got a different Chainsaw Man Ken badge where I got this really hideous Ken badge of Makima. I do not like this art style at all. I think I thought it was from the same line as those, but clearly it is not. I don't really like Makima to begin with, and this art style is not it. Okay, now I'm moving on to Ami Ami, but the bag is so big from Ami Ami that I can't even lift it onto the table, so I'm just going to be pulling stuff out of it from off camera. Starting off with the bigger items, I did end up picking up the Shigeo Kakayama Mob Psycho 100 Nendoroid because you got, it's already been a well-established fact from that gadget one that I like mobs. But then I also got the matching one for Jonah and Giovanna to go with my Butcherati Nendoroid. I got this really cute Bachira plush. It was 1100 yen, but I mean like look how cute it is. Excited to add this to the Bachira shrine. I also picked up this set of Yakuza Fiance Kian badges. Um, you guys know how much I love this series. I saw that they had an entire box there. I didn't have any of them, so I just decided what the heck I'm going to buy them all. They were 2300 which is really good in my opinion for six can badges. I was going to open these up in a later video, but you know what? Let's just open them up now because I cannot wait. Okay, let's start by cutting off the plastic. There's one side of it and I have to get this one too. Yeah. Do you guys love Yakuza Fiance or is it just me? The series is so good. And then, but let's just grab all of these blind bags. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's just open these. I'm so, so excited. I honestly have no idea how big these are or they're finished or anything. Okay, and I got... Choma. Okay, let's do the next one. Cut it way too short. 
Yeah, who's your guys' favorite character from Yakuza Fiance? Mine is definitely, I don't have a certain favorite. I mean, I like Yoshino, I also like Hiroshima, I like Shoma, I like them all. They're all such good characters. Okay. Oh, I have the other Shoma! Oh my god, he's like drinking like nuts like Ramune. I'm having too much fun right now. Okay. Oh, I got Kirishima. Put them right there. Okay, I want a Yoshino one now. I just want to open her up. Come on. I love Yoshino. Okay. Yo, yeah, I got her. She's so cute. Okay, let's do another one here. Hiroshima! Yeah! This one, we already know which one this is gonna be. It's gonna be yet another Yoshino. I don't know which design though because I'm not looking at the box, so I don't know what options there are. But since I have a nice one of her, I'm guessing this is gonna be one of her in like more fierce like pose. Oh my god, no, it's not Yoshino. Wait, I thought there are two Yoshino. Like, I always forget his name, but it, it's Scarface. I. Darn, there's gonna be another Yoshino one. <laughs> Since we're on the Yakuza fiance train, I also picked up these two card cases. I have this one of Yoshino and this one of Kirishima. I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do with these, but if Yakuza fiance makes them, then I will buy them, okay? That's just how it goes. Also got this Mikey acrylic stand, so cute. We've already established I like him. Uh, I also got this Sugasa acrylic stand since he is my favorite Dr. Stone character. I don't know why, but like this was cut so loosely, like it's just shaking around back here like all of them were like that but i got this yakuza fancy acrylic stand blind bag once again this will be opened up in a later video i got yet another one of those and then i also picked up two of these mystery kaiju number eight acrylic stands which will guess what guys be opened up in a later video much like the where is it much like okay much like the box side of these i decided to pick up yet another box set i'm going to be opening these up in a later video and these are the box set rubber straps for the Chainsaw Man for that series, for the one I got Himeno from. I got the entire set of them because I'm crazy like that. This was, a, this is 1400, such a good deal. 60% off, 60% off. Moving on, I got this really cool set of cam badges. This was 1100, so it's a little bit more expensive, but they are TGCF, my favorite MXTX series. Didn't really see much TGCF there, so of course when I saw this, I had to grab it. Okay, before I started, I took the tape off of these since I knew it was going to be a struggle. So, but these are the Spy Family gotcha looking things uh, that I got from Amiyami. Yeah, so these are 250 yen. There should be uh, some sort of Spy Family thing inside. So let's see. Let's open it like this so I can't see yet. Okay, here's like the little paper slip. Goodness. I'm trying to open this with one hand so I don't see who I got. Okay, well, you can get Bond, your and her brother. Okay, well, I just wanted a... I want Anya. To... Oh, okay, I got Bond. You know, I'm not mad about that. I don't really have any Bond stuff, so that'll be cool. And then, let's see who I got in this one now. My goodness. The tape stuff on here was so hard to get off. Like, it was... Oh my god, Lori! Okay, that's cool. You know, I'm chill with that. These are cute. I like this art style. Guess what, guys? They had these, like, shiny keychains, and I did not have any of them, so I picked up every single one. Here we have Scarface. What is it? What does that even say? Oh, it's his name in cursive. I can't even read that right now. But we also have Shoma, and they have Kirishima! I don't know. They're so cute, and they're glittery. Like, I just... How could I not? I got some blind bags. I got this one from Blue Lock. It's called the Let's Go Out series. I got this one from Tokyo Avengers. How cute. And I got this one from Blue Lock. It's like them as kids. You know, really hoping I get Bachiro out of this. And then I also got this Ken badge of my favorite character from Hell's Paradise because I love her so much. I love her. Three things I got from Ami Ami. I got more of the Let's Go Out Ken badge things. And then I also got this Mob Psycho 100 sleeping same as that gacha pond from earlier like acrylic stand this time though for 600 yen i was gonna open this up in a later video but we've already established that um i have no self-control so let's go Let let's open this we are opening it up different this way sideways because i don't think i can open it up this way because the thing is really big i want kogiyama okay i just want him because I, I love kogiyama okay i love 
I love mobs so much. Okay, let's, this is so big. Which way does this open? Okay, it opens this way. Oh my god, how do you open this? This is so big. Why? Oh, I got Reagan. Okay, you know what? This is, I'm not mad at this. This is a really nice keychain, so I'm not mad at this. I will say one thing I'm not the biggest fan of is that since this design is printed on the back and the name and star design is printed on the front, the design can easily be scratched off. Okay, lastly, now moving on to what I picked up at K-Books. Starting off, I have this Shikishi board from MDZS. Love it, looks great. I've literally never seen one this long, so. Guess what, guys? It's a Yakuza fiance keychain. This one's of Shoma. So I got uh, this keychain. Like, look how cute this is. This is from, uh, this is of Junta from, what's it? Takaichi? I don't know, but I don't know how to say, say the name. I always forget it. But uh, it was 1100, so yeah. Look how cute this is. How could I not get this? This is an MDZS like little cafe clear card, photo card thing. Or, on the same note, look how cute this in the clear moonlit desk one is. Like, there are cards for this? Why did no one ever tell me? A giant Yakuza fiance acrylic stain that I did not already have? Sign me up. 1320? That was such a good deal. Of course I had to grab it. On the same note, I had to get the other clear card to complete my Yakuza fiance set of these, even though I literally don't really. Like, what am I supposed to put in these? I don't know, but them. I got this as a sign of affection postcard. It says something if I get a postcard, because I don't even have anywhere to put my postcards. But it was 100 yen, and I mean, this art is too cute. How could I not? On the same note, I got a shikishi board this time. It's like of a casino theme, forgiven. It's of Mafuyu. Okay, now move on to merchandise. I just grabbed a fistful, so let's see what I get. Uh, Recommend the Rose King Henry acrylic stand. Yoshino button from Yakuza Fiance. Beka Ichikin badge. Oh, this is so cute. This is like a uh, AG Halloween themed. Oh, I clearly went for the Halloween themed here. No, it's cute. I have Christmas themed merchandise and I have Halloween themed merchandise. And I have this Given Uyanoyama Chibi Casino themed can badge. It's like a poker chip. Like, how cute is that? I have this one of Junta from Dekaichi. Uh, and then I have this one of the MDCS main couple. Uh, because. They're so cute, okay? 660 yen for each of them. Yakuza Fiance Acrylic Stand, because I have an issue, we've already established that. Another given thing of Uyanoyama, this really pretty MXTX Ken badge. It's so cute, how could I not? But guess what, more Yakuza Fiance stuff. This is stuff of Kirishima, because like we've already established, I have a problem if it is a Yakuza thing, and I actually, if it's the Yakuza Fiance merchandise piece and I do not already have it, then I will buy it immediately. If I, even if I already have it, I may consider it. Okay, everyone, this is the last fistful of merchandise to get through. Another Dekaichi can that not can badge, rubber strap. Uh, this one I got from, oh, this is like Christmas themed, like banana fish. And it, I thought it was just this one, but it came with this one as like an extra. So that's cute. Got another Yakuza fiance can badge. My cat is going insane. Uh, another given Ken badge. This one is not the chibi version. It's just it's of Mafuyu. Look how cute this ten bad this ten count cane badge is. Five hundred fifty. Okay, I grabbed it. Short. I, I snagged it. Last thing for this haul, I got the, yet another Takaichi uh, rubber strap, but this one is slightly different. See, it's, it's it's different. Yeah. So yeah, that is everything I got on today's excursion. I went crazy. Okay, guys, like this is absolutely insane. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to comment, rate, like, and subscribe. My wallet is crying. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.